Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be answering the question of whether or not you can add your Alarm.com ADC-T2000 or Alarm.com ADC-T3000 thermostat to your Alarm.com account. And the answer is yes, you can add these thermostats to your Alarm.com account. Um, that includes both the ADC-T2000 and the ADC-T3000 thermostats. Uh, both of these thermostats are Z-Wave Plus devices, so to add them to your Alarm.com account, you just pair them with your security system, your Alarm.com security system, as a Z-Wave device. And then, like any other Z-Wave device, it'll show up on Alarm.com, so that way you can control it remotely through uh, the Alarm.com website, the Alarm.com mobile app. You can include it with smart scenes, um, so you'll have um, Alarm.com for accessing these thermostats, um, whether you're in your home office and you want to do it from your computer, or you're away from home um, or away from your office and you're, you pull up your smartphone uh, in the Alarm.com mobile app and you can control the thermostats. Um, and as these are Alarm.com manufactured devices, uh, they have a pretty nice integration with Alarm.com. Uh, they tend to make that a pretty seamless transition. Um, but what you need to do is you need to pair these devices with um, your Alarm.com security system. Today I'll be showing you on the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus. That's a popular Alarm.com security system. But uh, keep in mind, this will work um, whether you're using um, a GC3e, a GC2e, um, if you're using a DSE Power Series Neo that's set up with Alarm.com. Um, but you'll follow the specific process for that panel to pair the Z-Wave device. So um, understand your panel, learn how Z-Wave devices are paired, and pair the device. Um, so that way it can show up on Alarm.com. But today I'll be showing you um, with the, um, the IQ Panel 2 Plus. Um, so once you have it paired, then it will you know, fetch the data and it will appear on Alarm.com. So um, we're working with the ADC T2000 today. Um, the T3000 uh, might follow a bit of a different process, but um, you're, you're basically just going to, going to be pairing it with your Alarm.com security system, so that way you can have it on your account. So uh, just to show you uh, how to do this with the ADC T2000, uh, um, I'm going to put the Qualsys into its Z-Wave pairing mode. Uh, this is a, a very smart device, actually. You don't have to do an exclusion process first, like you would for many Z-Wave devices. We can just go ahead and uh, pair it right away. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to start from the main screen of the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus. We're going to press the small gray bar at the top. We're going to choose Settings, and we're going to choose Advanced Settings. And then we're going to enter in our installer code, which ours is at the default of 1111. And then we're going to choose Installation. And we're going to choose Devices. And then we're going to choose Z-Wave Devices. And so we're at the Z-Wave Devices menu. And we're going to Add Device right here. And you see there's nothing added right now. And we're just going to include, so that way it starts looking for a Z-Wave device to add. What we want to do, uh, we're going to turn our attention to the thermostat now, the ADC-T2000. Uh, first, we want to just activate it um, so we get it to show up. We get a, a nice little um, how hot or cold it is in here right now. I guess it's 65 degrees. Um, so we're going to press and hold the bottom button until a radio symbol appears, a little Wi-Fi symbol thing. Um, and it looks like it lost the connection here. I want to make sure it's it's on battery power right now. So if it loses um, that, then it will shut off. But we have ours on. We're going to press and hold the bottom button until we get a symbol. And we got that right there. Um, so it's discovered the device. And you see it's going to be a thermostat once it shows up on here. Again, this is a Z-Wave Plus thermostat. Um, so And this is a Z-Wave Plus compatible system. If you have a classic Z-Wave system that doesn't do Z-Wave Plus, it'll still pair. You just won't get the advantages of Z-Wave Plus. But that tangent aside, uh, we have our thermostat um, settings here. Looks like it got on uh, node ID uh, number 7. Uh, its uh, type is the thermostat, which is what we want. And the name is thermostat. We could change it, I, I suppose, um, if we want to give it a custom name or our downstairs thermostat or hallway thermostat, what have you. Uh, but we'll just keep ours at thermostat. And we're going to press Add. And you see that it has been added to the system. And if the system were monitored and set up with Alarm.com, then it would get pushed over to Alarm.com, just like it would for any other Z-Wave device. So then you'll be able to control it remotely, include it with smart scenes, and do all of that fantastic stuff. And the reason you shelled out your money on your fancy Alarm.com thermostat. OK, so now I want to show you how you would access the thermostat from Alarm.com. Um, so uh, I'm going to show you the AlarmGrid demo account that you can use, whether you're monitored by AlarmGrid or not. Uh, so we're going to enter in the username, which it's an email address. It's agcust, uh, short for alarm grid customer. Um, at alarmgrid.com. So agcust at alarmgrid.com. 
And then for the password, the password is case sensitive. So we're going to do a lowercase m, and then we'll do 6, 2, capital Z, I, G, capital U, capital E, F, and Q. And then we can log in. And we're not going to save the password right now, but now we're into um, the alarm grid demo account for alarm.com. And so we're going to choose the, um, the upper uh, the upper left corner button here, the menu button, and we're going to choose thermostats. And then this is where the thermostat would be. In this case, it's called living room thermostat. Um, if you named it differently, it would obviously be a different name. And, and the location might be different depending on whether you're using um, uh, Android, iOS, or whether you're using the alarm.com website. Uh, this is the mobile app, and this is the Android version. So if you are using a different version, then keep that in mind. But that's how you would access the thermostat from alarm.com. So uh, that answers the question of whether or not you can pair um, your ADCT2000 or your ADCT3000 with Alarm.com. Uh, yes, you can pair these Alarm.com thermostats with Alarm.com as a Z-Wave device. So if you have any questions about um, the Alarm.com ADCT2000, the Alarm.com ADCT3000, the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus, Alarm.com monitoring services, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video, and remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.